Welcome back, everybody. I'm here with George, uh, the founder of The Pickler. And I did a little bit of a walkthrough last time, and we had quite a few questions. And I also asked on my social media um, for anyone who had any questions about this facility and The Pickler in general. And so we're here with George, and he's going to answer some of those. Um, so I have here on my phone uh, some of the questions that you guys were asking. And so I'm going to pull that up right now, and we're going to uh, answer those questions. Um, somebody asked, how many courts will be in the next locations, especially yeah. the West Jordan one? Yeah, so this one will have eight. Uh, West Jordan uh, will be our second largest facility, which will be 10. Okay. Uh, Kaysville will be 15. Loveland will be nine. And then, am I missing one? I think that's St. George. Oh, St. George will have eight. Okay. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're super excited about the Kaysville one. We believe that will be our flagship uh, facility. It, it's being built specific for pickleball. So that one will be will be cool to see get done. Uh, somebody else asked, how high are these ceilings? Oof, I think these are, I'm gonna probably say this wrong, but it's anywhere from 18 to 21 feet. Okay. Yeah, we have a few buildings now, so I, I can't remember ceiling heights, but you should be able to do a lob in here. And if you yeah. don't do a good lob, then you did something wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, somebody else asked, are you going to wrap those posts? And I yep. believe they're referring to these metal ones right here. Yeah, for safety, yeah, we usually do. We usually try to put um, some sort of padding that will uh, make sure to protect people. Who picked these colors? So this is kind of a lighter baby yeah. blue almost, and then a deeper blue, and then a gray on the outside. Yeah, good question. I mean, the, the thought process behind it, I mean, we went through probably 10, 15 uh, different designs that we liked. This one to us just really stuck out, especially with the light blue. A lot of courts, you'll either see one color, um, uh, you know, for the courts. Uh, we went with two different colors. You can see the light blue and the dark blue, and you know, it's a, it's a pickler blue. So we, you know, we wanted to make sure that it stayed in, on brand, and we think it looks pretty dang good. And all the pickler facilities, they have this color scheme. Is that, that is right? correct? Every single facility will have this the same color scheme. Okay. And somebody asked, what's with the double line? So as you can see now, these courts <laughs> are fully finished. Um, when I showed the last video, they were being painted. And so what you saw, I'm assuming, was the tape that goes around the outside of the line so that they can paint on the inside. Mm -hmm. um, no, pickleball courts don't have the double lines quite yet. Yeah. Maybe in the future. It'd be nice so that way, if, you know, you get a second chance if the ball goes out or something. <laughs> double lines. Double lines. I like it. Uh, somebody else asked, uh, when will there be drop and play and will, uh, they said, will be there be courts set by skill level? Yeah, so one thing unique is we try to have about uh, 50 plus hours of open play. So <clears throat> whether it's early in the morning, middle of the day, or in the evening, the goal at the Pickler is to offer at least 50 plus hours every single month of open play. In the summer, sometimes it's a little bit more. Um, yeah, I mean, if there's a need for skill level, uh, we definitely have enough courts to be able to split that up. Uh, and that's definitely something that we, we think about, especially when it gets super busy, we can make, make courts specific to skill level. But we do have other events um, specific to skill level, uh, our best of the best series. Uh, that is a duper verified event. And, and we love that event because uh, if you're a 4-0, you're only allowed to play if you're a 3.76 or a you know, 4.0 to a 4.24. So yeah. that is a great event to come and play in its skill specific event. Awesome. Somebody asked locations and pricing. So real quick, why don't we name through all the locations that will be open by the end of this year, just to keep it easy. Yep. And then briefly uh, explain the pricing structure. Yeah, so we'll start with Utah. So Northern Utah. Uh, so we got Logan, Ogden, West Jordan, Sandy. I forgot about Kaysville and then St. George. Okay. Uh, Loveland will be our fourth place that will be open. The courts start there October 3rd, so that's next week. Okay. Um, and all of them are scheduled, all seven, to be open by the end of the year. Okay, great. And then pricing? Yeah, so pricing, uh, what, what's great about the Pickler is we have pricing packages for every kind of pickleball player, whether you're just a casual come in, whether you're looking for competitive play, whether you just like open play, or where you're an addict that just wants to be here three, four times a week. Yeah. Uh, so it starts anywhere from, uh, you know, $35 a month, which gets you free open play. So that's 50 plus hours. Uh, we have a competitive pass that it's $65 a month, 
but that gets you free open play and free Breast of the Best series, which we offer twice a week. So Great. it saves you a lot of money to, to be able to do those. Great, and then one thing I might add is if you do get uh, the membership, that gives you access to all oh, the locations. That is correct, yep. that is correct. So that is uh, one great benefit, especially in Utah. If you're uh, playing in Uinta, you wanted to go, come to open play and it's busy, check Kajal out or check West Jordan. You can, you can go you know, throughout Utah and experience different, different uh, players and different skill levels just by, by the facility. So that, that would be a great perk. Great. Uh, somebody, I had quite a few people ask about different locations around the U.S. Somebody said, want to open one in the Dallas area? Do yeah, we want to open we one? We definitely want to open one in the Dallas area. Okay. I, I think our goal right now is just to kind of keep it uh, close to the West Coast, uh, you know, the hit up the Colorado market. Um, we, we are looking to expand into the Denver area, looking to get into the Idaho market, um, the Vegas market. Uh, in Arizona. So that is kind of our, our plan. Okay. Now, obviously, uh, you know, we, we are open to, to taking pickleball everywhere. Uh, that is just kind of what our 2023 plan is. Great. Uh, 2024, we're here to take over the world. <laughs> okay. I had a couple other people ask questions about different locations. So I think that kind of uh, answers that. Um, somebody else, and this is the last one that I have, or actually there's a couple more. Um, somebody said, when can I join the team? Yeah, the Pickler team? <laughs> I'm uh, not sure, they just said, when can I join the team? Uh, I mean, we, we got a lot of cool stuff happening, whether it's, it's with the Pickler or the Pickler shop with our ambassador programs. Each facility will have an ambassador program. Uh, as Tyler knows, he works with us very closely on these things. The Pickler shop will have an ambassador program hopefully launching next week. Yes. Uh, which we're very excited about. I think that's what this specific person was referring to. Yep. Yep. So, so we're, we're close. As Tyler knows, we, we worked on this yesterday and uh, we're excited just to give people the opportunity to get their name out there to receive certain perks yep. uh, that we're able to offer. And then, you know, as you've seen with Tyler's shirts uh, uh, in tournaments, the Pickler shop, we're, you know, we're hoping to get to the point where we can support other other athletes. Great. Uh, last three questions is somebody said, will you have a pro shop? Definitely. Every facility uh, will have a, a pro shop. Uh, our goal is to have, you know, all the top players um, at the pro shop level. Now, if you don't see something that you want uh, at the facility level, you can always go to the Pickler shop. Um, you'll be able to order it right there. Um, and it'll be delivered straight to your home. Great, yep. And so you, if you don't have any paddles or any gear or anything like that, you'll be able to pick that up at these locations. Uh, another question was, what types of classes will be offered? All types, from our free learn to play classes. So anybody, if you have family that's looking to get into pickleball, family, friends, it's always free at the Pickler. Cool. So you can come and learn uh, how to play the game of pickleball. And then anything to get you through the next stage of learning uh, to de developing certain skill sets to a league and learns where you can come and play with a community and receive instruction as you're playing. I think I think uh, that's something I could benefit from hugely. And then uh, this specific location, Sandy, uh, our head pro will be Spencer Smith. Uh, great he, player. Yeah, great player, uh, PPA contracted <clears throat> player. So yep. we're super excited for the Sandy community to have uh, someone like Spencer here to be able to teach clinics. Okay, last question. They just said tournaments, question mark. I'm assuming they're uh, referring to maybe the tournament schedule and yeah. what you have going on yeah, there. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll definitely always have uh, tournaments. Uh, one thing unique, because we will have you know six locations in Utah, we want to create a club feel. We want you to have pride being a part of the Sandy club. Yeah. Uh, and so the best of the best series, leads to club championships, which will then lead to the best of the best in Utah. So Sandy will play West Jordan, the best of West Jordan, the best of Logan and Uinta and St. George and Kaysville. So we're super excited to, you know, present that to the community because we'd love to see who the best picklers out there and, and to crown them at the end of the year. Very nice. Year. Awesome, well, I appreciate your time. Yeah. Uh, once again, another reminder, the pickler will be doing 20% off all memberships that is up correct. until October 17th. Yeah. So and if you see this before then, uh, make sure to get a membership. Yeah, and the first 200 people that come, Jurassic Tacos will be here. We'll be giving some delicious food. We'll have cool giveaways, t-shirts, etc. So come, come party with us October 17th for the grand opening. Awesome, appreciate your time. Thanks again. Thank you, Tyler. Yep.